Hello everyone. Welcome back to Robo Urban. Today's build is something super fun, mechanical and extremely practical. We are making a real mini crane system that can lift, lower and rotate objects in real time. All controlled using just two push buttons. Special thanks to our awesome subscribers Sashank and Nitesh for inspiring this project. This one for you. What do you need? Arduino Uno, L290 in motor driver, DC gear motor for lifting, servo motor for rotation, two push buttons, breadboard, jumper wire, double 3.7 volt battery holder with batteries to power the motor, any crane structured, cardboard, wood or acrylic. Let's go to the connection part. Step 1. Breadboard setup. Place the Arduino Uno and Mini breadboard side by side. We will use the breadboard to connect power and signal lines easily. Connect the 5 volt pin from Arduino to the plus red rail of the breadboard. Connect GND from the Arduino to the blue rail of the breadboard. Now all the components can take power from these rails. Servo motor connections. Connect the servo signal wire to digital pin 9 on Arduino. Connect the servo VCC wire to the 5 volt rail on the breadboard. Connect the servo GND wire to the GND rail on the breadboard. DC gear motor connection via L298 motor driver. Connect motor driver IN1 to Arduino digital pin 7. Connect motor driver EN2 to Arduino digital pin 8. Connect motor driver ENA. Enable pin to Arduino digital pin 5. Connect the DC motor wires to the motor driver's output terminal out 1 and out 2. Connect the positive terminal of the battery holder to 12 volt of motor driver. Connect the negative of the battery holder to the GND of the motor driver. Push button connections. Place both push buttons on the breadboard. Connect one side of the push button for servo control to Arduino digital pin 2. Connect the other side of the same button to the GND rail on the breadboard. Connect one side of the second push button for DC motor control to Arduino digital pin 3. Connect the other side of this button to GND rail on the breadboard. Power connections. Now connect one jumper wires of the GND motor driver to the GND of the Arduino. The Arduino can be powered using USB. Before processing, double check all the connections carefully. Now download the code from the link given in the video description and open it in the Arduino IDE. If you have not downloaded the Arduino IDE yet, download it first. Hash include servo.h import the servo library. This gives us easy functions to control hobby servos. Servo my servo creates a servo object named my servo. We will use this to send angle commands to the servo. We define pins so the code is easy to read. Servo underscore pin is D9, motor underscore ENA is D5, a PWM pin to control motor speed, and motor underscore in1 slash in2 are the motor driver inputs for direction. Buttons Servo underscore button on D2 and motor underscore button on D3. Servo POPUS holds the current servo angle, increasing tracks whether servo is moving up or down during sweep. Direction forward stores current motor direction. It toggles each time you press the motor button. Last button state helps detect the button press age. So we toggle only once per press. Motor speed is PWM 0 to 225. Uh, that 100 gives a slower motor speed. My servo dot attached servo underscore pin function attaches the servo object to pin 9 so we can write angles. We set motor pins as output dot motor underscore en and its PWM capability to control speed. Buttons are set to input underscore pull up which uses Arduino internal pull up resistors. That means the pin reads high normally and reads slow when the button is pressed. Where to ground? We write the initial servo position 0 degree and call stop motor function to ensure the motor is off at startup. We did both buttons because of input underscore pull up, a pressed button returns low. So we compare to low to get true when pressed. If the servo button is held, the code changes servo POS by 1 degree every loop, increasing it flips when we servo reaches 0 to or 180, so the servo sweeps back and forth. My servo dot right servo pose move the servo dot delay 15 controls the smoothness. 15 milliseconds gives a gentle sweep. Importantly, when you release the button, this if block is skipped, so the servo stops and holds its last angle. This detects the moment the button transitions from not pressed high to pressed low. That age detection prevents multiple toggles while the button remains held. When that age happens, we flip direction forward using direction forward equals to dot equals to direction forward. We use a short delay 200 millisecond for debouncing so mechanical bounce or not cause multiple toggles. If the button is currently held, motor press true, we check the direction forward flag. If true, move forward 
मूव मोटर फॉरवर्ड फंक्शन एल्स मूव मोटर बैकवर्ड फंक्शन इफ द बटन इज नॉट हेल्ड स्टॉप मोटर फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड सो द मोटर स्टॉप इमीडिएटली वेन यू रिलीज फाइनली वी सेव लास्ट बटन सेव इक्वल्स टू मोटर प्रेस टू अलाउ एज डिटेक्शन ऑन द नेक्स्ट लुक मूव मोटर फॉरवर्ड फंक्शन सेट्स इन वन हाई एंड इन टू लो विच मेक्स द मोटर ड्राइवर रोटेट द मोटर इन वन डायरेक्शन पी डब्ल्यू एम ऑन मोटर अंडर स्कोर ई एन ए कंट्रोल द स्पीड मोटर स्पीड इज द पी डब्ल्यू एम वैल्यू जीरो टू टू फिफ्टी फाइव मूव मोटर बैकवर्ड फंक्शन रिवर्सेज इन वन एंड इन टू टू स्पिन द मोटर द अपोजिट वे स्टॉप मोटर फंक्शन सेट्स बोथ इन पिंस लो एंड सेट्स पी डब्ल्यू एम टू जीरो सो द मोटर स्टॉप दिस इज सेफ एंड प्रिवेंट द मोटर फ्रॉम कोस्टिंग दैट्स इट टू अपलोड कनेक्टेड ऑर्डिनो ऊनो टू योर कंप्यूटर यूजिंग यूएस बी केबल गो टू टूल्स बोर्ड एंड ऑर्डिनो ऊनो सिलेक्ट द करेक्ट बोर्ड क्लिक ऑन द अपलोड बटन आफ्टर द अपलोड इज कंप्लीट नाउ असेंबल द क्रेन माउंट द सर्व ऑन द क्रेन आर्म सो इट कैन रोटेट लेफ्ट राइट अटैच ए थ्रेड टू द डी सी मोटर शॉप फॉर लिफ्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स पावर द होल सिस्टम यूजिंग द बैटरी बैक नाउ टेस्ट इट प्रेस बटन वन क्रेन आर्म रोटेट लेफ्ट और राइट प्रेस बटन टू थ्रेड लिप्स एंड लोअर द ऑब्जेक्ट बोथ मोशन स्टॉप द मोमेंट यू रिलीज द बटन गिविंग परफेक्ट रियल टाइम कंट्रोल जस्ट लाइक ए मिनी कंस्ट्रक्शन क्रेन If you enjoyed this project make sure to like share and subscribe to Roboami for more such amazing DIY electronics robotics and Arduino builds and once again special thanks to Sashank and Hitesh for this project idea see you in the next video